hey everyone so today i'm gonna be making an engagement ring for some awesome friends So the reason I wired up this piece of copper is so now I can heat it and I'm going to fill its gaps with solder. This will make it super strong and also will help keep its shape. have the outside to where I want it to be. Before I glue the veneer on, I do want to clean up the inside and get it almost to its finished form. To do that, I have my Dremel tool with a stone drum on it. So I'm just slowly going to file the inside of the ring until I get it to the shape I want it to be. So after about an hour and a half of sanding, I finally got the inside of this metal ring to the measurement I want. I have the measurement set to these calipers of a size 5 ring, and as you can see, it's the exact measurement. So with that complete, we can go ahead and cut a strip of this mahogany wood. We can throw this metal ring back onto the mandrel, and we can glue it on. Okay everyone, so now I have the mahogany glued to my metal insert. I saturated it completely in CA glue so it's super tough. So now I'm gonna take one of my carbide scrapers and I'm gonna go ahead and just clean up the surface to get ready to make a trench so I can put in the turquoise rocks. Let's go ahead and start cleaning it up. With the trench cut, I'm now ready to put the turquoise rocks in. So right here are some blue turquoise rocks, and then here are more an emerald green color rocks. The customer wanted me to mix both rocks, so I'll just take some of this thin CA glue, I'll put some inside the trench, then I'll just take equal amounts of these two rocks and just randomly mix them in to hopefully make a super cool look. And right before I put the rocks into the trench, I have some of this really deep aqua blue dye. I'm going to just take a little bit of it on the end of the stick, and I'm just gonna put it in the trench just so the rocks have a nice backing to contrast with. Okay everyone, so I let the CA glue that's on the rocks dry for about 30 minutes. So what I'm going to do is take another one of my carbide bits and I'm just going to go ahead and flatten down the rocks so that they're level with the wood and then we can go further on with the shaping. So now I have a surface that I'm happy with on the ring. The next step is to go ahead and sand it. Right here I have a sanding system called Micro Mesh. This stuff goes from 1500 grit sandpaper all the way to 12,000 grit to get a crystal clear finish. So let's go ahead and start sanding this ring. Okay everyone, so now I've gone through all of the micro mesh on this ring. The next step is to do a finish, and the finish I'm going for is a CA glue finish. So right here is some super thin CA glue. I'm just gonna drip a few drops onto this rag, and then I'll wipe it on the ring, and I'll do that about three times to get a nice durable finish on the ring. Okay, 
everyone, so I just took the ring off the lathe, and now I'm ready to polish the inside of the copper. I have the Dremel with a buffing pad, and I'm just gonna be using some of this mother's polish. So let's go ahead and start polishing. So I just got done polishing the inside of the ring and it turned out like a mirror. So let's go ahead and take some pictures of it. so much for watching this video really hope you enjoyed this project I think this ring turned out absolutely amazing I love the contrast in between the turquoise blue rocks and the mahogany wood also the copper insert gives the ring lots of strength and also feels great on your finger adding another level of quality so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next video